Zeta Zebra 3D Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Okay, so we're going to start with a sheer pink acrylic and I'm going to be forming her on this smile line. So pull the excess monomer out of the back of the brush so that you have a stiff enough acrylic to form the smile line that you're looking for. So since this is a square nail, um, you don't want the smile line to be too deep. You want it to just be a nice gradual curve. And then taking a wetter bead, apply that to the cuticle and smooth that over the first one that you place to create a nice rounded shape. Once that pink has hardened, you're going to want to file the smile line just in case something a little goofy happened um, so that it's nice and perfect. And taking pink acrylic, and this is a nice bright pink, you're going to want to cover the tip and as thin as you can because we are going to be placing stuff, um, we're going to be placing her body on top of it and trying to not get it too thick. We want it to be, you know, as thin as you can, as light as you can. So cover that, cover up the tip. So now taking white acrylic, I'm going to be forming the shape of her shoulders and neck. And I want her neck to be extra long because it's hard to tell what will be visible once we get her head on there. So I'm going to start by placing almost like a half circle over the entire very last little bit of the tip of the nail. And I'm pulling the excess monomer out of the back of the brush for this too, just because you want the white to be really opaque. And so keep working on it until it has a nice rounded shape. And this can always be flattened a little bit or thinned out with a file too. So if it gets too thick, don't worry about it. And then add her neck. And so you're going to want to take a smaller bead of acrylic and then just sort of smooth it in to where we placed her shoulders. And I'm going to flatten the top of her neck. That won't necessarily be important. So now I'm just going to be gently filing the white just to thin it out because if it's too thick it's going to get even thicker later on. So then with black paint I'm going to be painting her stripes. This is a fairly basic zebra print so it's just a line from each side that tapers towards the center. So now I'm going to encase the tip with clear acrylic. So you're going to want to build it up so that the white, which is thicker, is not, you can't feel the line where it comes, or you can't tell that it's any thicker. So that's just a nice smooth tip. And you do need to cover the white, the zebra print up with acrylic so that once you start filing the nail, you don't file away your black stripes because eh, that wouldn't be so fun. Alright, so now, like I just mentioned, you're going to want to file the entire nail so that it's smooth. Um, this is the last time you're going to be filing it, so you want to make sure that it's as perfect as it can be. And once, and when you are filing over down by the zebra print and her body, you're going to want to be careful and keep track of how thick your clear acrylic is so that you don't file off your stripes. So now remove any scratches with a padded file. This one's about 240 grit. So now I'm going to just set the tip up against my uh, nail form so I can see how big my head needs to be. And then you can use the guides on the tip and you can make it exactly the size you need. So starting with white acrylic, you're going to want to form a oval shape for her head.
So now I'm going to take smaller beads of acrylic and I'm going to form her ears. And these are kind of like petal shapes. So start by just forming like you would for making a petal. And that first bead that I made there was way too big. So I'm going to get rid of some of that. <laughs> and it's easy enough on the forms to get rid of excess acrylic because it is made so that the acrylic will stick to it but also can be removed. So it's actually a really good thing to work on these. And then push your brush into the center of the ear to create a little hole. This will be where we're going to place the pink later on for her ears, and so it just won't get too thick if it's nice and thin right in the center. So now I'm going to add a larger bead of white acrylic over the top of her head just so that it creates more of a dome shape and so that it looks like her ears are pushed back a little bit and so that they're not at the exact same height as the rest of her head. So now with black acrylic I'm just going to place a little bead up between her ears and then pull it out into three little spikes. This will be for her hair or her mane depending on how you want to think about it. So then once you get those pushed up, you can also push your brush back in to define the points more. So now I'm going to make her eyelids. And this part takes a little bit of patience. So take the smallest bead of acrylic you can practically manage and form her eyelids. And these are like parenthesis shapes. And to get them to be even, this is where it gets a little bit more difficult. So you're going to want to work as quick as you can so that you have time to adjust them if you need to be, or if you need to. Um, if you do make a mistake, you could always take a file and file off the eyelid that needs to be erased, I guess is what you could think of it as. Um, that wouldn't, wouldn't be optimal, but it would work. So now I'm taking a medium-sized bead and I'm going to be placing it for her snout. And I'm just going to keep adding some black acrylic to that oval area, just to, same thing as her head, to give it a nice rounded dome shape. So now as I mentioned before, I'm going to take a tiny bead of glittery pink acrylic and set it in the middle of her ears. This is going to fill in that hole that you made before, but it's also still going to look like there is that hole there because that's the sheer pink. So then taking black paint, we're going to be adding the rest of her eyes. So I'm going to just add the rest of the round shape below and then give her some little eyelashes. So three eyelashes on each side. And then she has three stripes on her forehead, so these are just like little, long, skinny triangles. And then two on each cheek. And she also has a stripe in her ears. Now if you look at, if you look at the beginning of my video in the little cartoon, you can also see she's got other black on her ears, but for this I'm just going to put that one stripe. So then fill in her where her eyeball would be with white paint. And white paint is going to look brighter than white acrylic. So you can also highlight where you want to with the white paint. I'm just going to highlight her ears though. And then with pink, I'm going to add her nostrils. And these are like horseshoe shapes or C shapes. And then add a small dot in her eyes. And so now this is to remove her. You're just going to want to pull back by her ears and her hair because that's the most delicate until it just pops off. And it should come off fairly easily once it's already nice and dry. So now I'm going to be adding a bead of acrylic, of clear acrylic, right above where her neck would be. And I'm just going to be pushing it up just so it doesn't fan out too much um, and get as, it as tall as it can be. So I'm just going to keep pushing in the sides until it's starting to set. 
So now I'm going to add another a bead of clear on top of the first one. And this is just going to add more height and you can keep doing this until it's as tall as you want it. So once those are setting up, um, I'm going to outline the tip of the nail or outline the smile line rather with a thin black line and I'm using black paint. So add a third and final bead on top of those two clear ones you already placed and then set her head. Now it's going to take some time. You have to hold them until they're ready to be until they're hard enough where it's just going to stay. But hold it for a couple seconds until you can feel that it's setting and then you can let it go and let it dry the rest of the way. So add a glossy top coat around her head. So basically everywhere but on top of top of her head. <laughs> and then go over her head with matte top coat. This is going to make her head stand out a little bit from the rest. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my design. Please share recreations with me on Facebook or Twitter. I always love to see them and they look great. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!